Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Link. Link is interesting at the moment because it's pushing against the ceiling here. Um, and I think it could be about to wrap up this entire move to the upside from the June lows. We've been waiting a long time for this last leg to occur. And my target is basically, yeah, it's $21 plus. So basically what that means is it can easily go higher. I have to say that very clearly. Um, but yeah, it would be good to get wave 5 to at least $21. Then we have a fairly clear 5 wave pattern to the upside in wave 5 of 1. To explain the structure here, I'm looking at all of this as an impulse at the moment in the primary scenario. In an impulse, waves 1, 3 and 5 need to be 5 wave movements. Waves 2 and 4 are corrections. And you see it very clearly. This is nearly a perfect structure because the wave 2 was a sharp correction, wave 4 a sideways correction with an overshooting B wave. So where the wave 2 came down have, has a very clear price low, the wave 4 was rather sideways oriented. That's the guideline of alternation in Elliott wave. Again, it's a very, very nice structure. Um, wave 2 did not break below wave 1. That's a very clear rule. Wave 3 is the longest. While that's not a rule, it's often the case. Um, it just must not be the shortest. And wave 4 dipped into the ideal target area for a fourth wave. So everything good. Now I'd like to see the wave 5 reach $21. As I mentioned, um, wave 5 needs to be a 5 wave move. And I've got a wave 1, I've got a wave 2, wave 3, which might still extend a little bit. Then a wave 4 and a 5. So we need 5 waves really if my interpretation of this chart is correct. But it is not an impulse itself, this fifth wave. Five wave movements can be impulses or diagonal patterns. And this looks like a diagonal. Why? Um, because the wave one is an ABC structure. If that's the case, in a fifth wave, the wave one is an ABC, then all of the subwaves have to be ABC structures. That also means we have to consider deep pullbacks in wave four, which means that we are likely dealing with a diagonal. That would not be possible within a third wave, but it's possible in a fifth wave. That means that all the subwaves are corrective, but it overall still is a five wave move. Yeah, so we completed wave one, we completed wave two. Wave three might still be in the making, might still be in the making. It reached certainly a ceiling here, has some difficulties to get through. I think it would be the ideal spot to start wave four from here. Maybe it started wave four, then it would look like this, A wave, B wave, C wave. That, is, that would be ideal, right? But it can still extend higher in the third wave. There is not enough price action to say wave three has topped. Wave three can still easily extend. I mean, I'm talking about wave C of three. Can still easily extend because um, it really only reached the minimum expectation with that $18.30 level roughly. Um, we can take the length of the A wave. We compare it to the length of the C wave and it reached basically, yeah, the 1.236 extension. Next level would be $19.12 and $19.92. Only above that level, really, um, the C wave would extend more than it would normally be the case. So we still have to consider it possibly go to $20 in the third wave because there isn't really a strong setback yet. Okay. Still, though, I think from a reward to risk point of view now, as we've hit the ceiling here, there are other pet or other structures that provide better reward to risk ratios, like, for example, Medic. We'll see how that develops. Um, anyway, the trend is up. Remember, the trend is your friend. We should still go up higher to $21 plus um, in the fifth wave. But again, it's there's no evidence the fourth has started yet. If the fourth has started, support is at $15.31. Against that level, I focus on higher. Other Fibonacci support levels for wave four are $70.41. That would be extremely shallow, though. Ideally, it goes a little lower. $16.57, $15.93. And against those, the focus can be on higher. Then we need to see how far the wave five can move and extend. Um, certainly $20 and yeah, 30, uh, tw let's know, uh, $20 and 93, talking about basically $21 would be ideal target. $23.78 uh, is the next target. Also ideal, wouldn't be unusual, right? Um, and then, yeah, I mean, further extensions always possible. So please be aware of that. The trend is your friend. We cannot confirm a top in place overall for this entire wave one until we have a first break of micro support. That first break of micro support at the moment would be $15.30. And 
30 or $15 and 31. Then after that wave one happens, a wave two pullback should occur and we can add another support area for that when there is time for it and when we have completed wave one, but we haven't done that at this stage. That's my update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.